Alright, I was trying to find a video to show you what we're doing in math right now, but I realized that there was nothing that was teaching the way that I was teaching specifically, so I thought I would show you guys um, how I'm doing this. So right now we're doing um, fractions of wholes in math. So for instance, to do fractions of wholes is a multiplication problem. It's like one-fourth times eight, but realistically that's the same thing as saying one-fourth of eight. And I was showing the kids that these problems can be very easy if they look at it as doing one-fourth of eight and realize that this is their whole. Your denominator can tell you how many equal groups to split your whole set into. So right here I have eight holes, and I can put my eight holes into four equal groups. So I just found pennies right now, and I can set these four pennies, I can put these four, I mean eight pennies, excuse me, these eight pennies into four equal groups. And then I realized that there's two pennies in each group. So my problem asks me, what's one-fourth of eight? Well, one-fourth of eight would be one-fourth of this whole set, which would be two. So one-fourth of eight would be just two. I was also showing them as well, it's kind of similar as just doing one-fourth eight times, which can look like this. Now this can get kind of tedious to do this, and so um, if they can see the pattern that their eight can be broken into four equal groups, this way is much easier than doing it this way, but just so you can see it, I've showed the kids as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fourths, and eight fourths. And then we look all together, we have eight fourths, those four fourths is a whole, those four fourths are a whole, which still equals two wholes all together. So that's one way I've been teaching them as well. And I've had the same exact problem, but now we're doing two fourths of eight, or two fourths times eight, which is again the same exact thing. Again, I have my eight holes broken into four equal groups, but this time I'm looking at what are in two of those groups. And two of those groups, I'm going to have this time four holes. And if I did the two fourths eight times, it's still going to give me um, 16 fourths, which gives me four holes as well. Um, and then if I did one more time, three fourths of eight, three fourths times eight, it's kind of sloppy, I'm sorry. But again, I have eight into four equal groups. There's my pennies again. How many are in three groups this time? I have six. So if our whole amount can be evenly broken up by our denominator, this is by far the easiest way to figure out the fractional amount of a whole. Now one small thing that makes it a little more challenging, and I showed the kids today how to do this, is if I have for instance one-fourth of three, or same thing, one-fourth times three should mean the same thing. This way, we can't evenly break up three into four groups, um, not unless we broke those three up into smaller pieces. But we can do it the other way, one-fourth three times. One-fourth three times is just going to be three-fourths. And so that way, when they're doing in fifth grade, they're gonna have smaller numbers like this. If it doesn't equal, equally go into their whole amount, it won't be as big of numbers, and so it won't be as challenging. It might be even, you know, again, it might have two-fifths of six, which is two-fifths times six. And again, that's just going to be two-fifths six times. And then I'll do this again, two-fifths. There's four of them. There's five-fifths. It's supposed to be a fifth. So there's two-fifths, one, two, three, four, five, six times. Altogether, that gives me 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 fifths. And the kids have learned how to take improper fractions into mixed numbers. We did that a long time ago. Can't remember, think of how many fives go into 12. Two of them, and there's two pieces left over. So that's two holes with two pieces left over. So two and two fifths would be our mixed number. So if their denominator doesn't equally go into their whole number, um, we can't break that whole number into equal groups, then they can just do that amount, their fractional amount, that many times to find their answer. So if it equally goes into it, it's much easier to even just use pennies or something like that to break up that eight into four equal groups and figure out how much was in one of those groups. So here's eight into four equal groups, and one of those groups was two, two of those groups was four, three of those groups was six. And if it doesn't equally go into it, then we just do that fractional amount however many times it tells us to do it. So one fourth three times, three fourths. Two fifths six times gives us 12 fifths or two and two fifths. And that's kind of what we've been doing the last couple days. All right, hopefully that helps parents, thank you.